All right, kiddos, we're back. Hey, we just finished up our nomenclature chapter. Now we're moving into chapter 10, and we're going to talk about the mole again. So we're going to apply what we learned during our nomenclature unit to the mole unit. Now the mole we did a long time ago, so I think we need a little bit of review before we jump into this chapter. So let's review the mole concept a bit. Okay, we're going to do a few examples together. So, if I have 0.25 moles of ammonia, how many grams of ammonia do I have? So we need to know how to write the formula for ammonia. Ammonia is the common name, if you remember, for nitrogen trihydride, so NH3. So, if I have 0.25 moles of ammonia, NH3, don't I multiply by a line? We'll put moles of ammonia on the bottom. And we want to get into grams, so I'll put grams of ammonia on top. Put a 1 by mole. So how do we find grams of ammonia? Well, we've got to find the molecular weight of that. So we have to find the weight of a nitrogen and the weight of three hydrogens. So to do that, we look at the periodic table. Nitrogen to the nearest hundredth is 14.01, and hydrogen to the nearest hundredth is 1.01. So 14.01... 1.01, let's do the math. We get 14.01 plus 3.03, 17.04 grams per mole. So now all we need to do is the math. Moles divide out, and since 17.04 is on top, we're going to multiply by it. So let's pull out our calculators and see how we do. I have to switch apps here real quick for you. So we have 0.25 times 17.04, and we'll go ahead and hit equals here, 4.26. So 4.26, we're only allowed two sig figs though, aren't we? So we have to round that to 4.3 grams of ammonia. Okay, All right, let's try the next one. How many moles are there? and 2.50 grams of sulfuric acid. Huh. We need to know how to write the formula for sulfuric acid, don't we? So it's not binary, because it doesn't start with hydro. But it does end with X, and X come from eights. So let's find sulfate. There it is. It's SO4, 2 negative. So we have SO4, 2 negative, and hydrogen acts like a metal with a 1 plus charge. So won't the formula for sulfuric acid be H2SO4? So we're going to start with 2.50 grams of H2SO4. We're going to multiply by a line. And let's put grams of H2SO4 on the bottom. And let's put moles of H2SO4 on top, because that's what I want to get into. Put a 1 by mole. And now we need to figure out the weight of H2SO4. I'm going to give myself some room up here to do that. Hopefully you don't mind me racing this now since we're done with that. Okay, so we have two hydrogens, we have a sulfur, and we have four oxygens. Hydrogen, we just looked up, is 1.01. .01. Let's find sulfur to the nearest hundredth, 32.06. And each oxygen, 16.00. So we have 2.02 plus 32.06 plus 64.00. So let's see what we get here. 98.08 grams per mole. So grams of sulfuric acid cancel out. So we have 2.50 divided by 98.08. 2.50 divided by 98.08. Hopefully I'm pressing the right buttons here. 0 0.0255 to three sig figs. Let's see how many sig figs were allowed. 0 0.0255. We do have three sig figs. Good. 0 0.0255 moles of sulfuric acid would be our answer. Okay, do you all remember how to do this now? 
Well, let's see, how many molecules do I have from that example? Hmm. Well, let's see. If I have 0 0.0255 moles of sulfuric acid, I'll multiply by a line, put moles of sulfuric acid on the bottom, and molecules on top. Put a one by mole. Remember what number we put by molecules? It's been a while, hasn't it? It's our friend Avogadro's number. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So we need to multiply our 0 0.0255 by Avogadro's number. So we have, we can just leave the that 0 0.0255 in there. And we'll multiply it by 6.022 EE to the 23rd. Then we'll hit equals. It looks like we get 1.53 times 10 to the 22nd. 1.53 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of H2SO4. Already? All right. Well, let's just do a few more since we have some time here. Let's go ahead and why don't you do example four without my help and then come back to the video and we'll see how you did. Okay? All right. So for 4A, we have 3.57 moles of aluminum. Multiply by a line. Let's put moles of aluminum on the bottom. We want to get the mass in grams, so I'll put grams of aluminum on top. Put a one by mole. Let's find aluminum. There it is, 26.98. 26.98. And this will give us grams of aluminum. I'm just going to do the calculation off to the side. I think you guys know how to do the math here on yours. If not, please come see me. So 3.57 times 26.98. Looks like we are allowed three significant figures. Did you guys get 96.3 grams of aluminum? Good. And letter B, let's start with moles of silicon. We'll multiply by a line, put moles of silicon on the bottom, grams of silicon on top, put a one by mole. Let's find silicon. Oh, looks like it's getting a little crowded in here. So there's silicon, 28.09 grams per mole. So let's do the math. 42.6 times 28.09. Looks like I'm allowed three significant figures again. And my calculator says 1196.634. So it looks like if we're only allowed three sig figs, we have to decide right there. So that would be one two zero zero but I have to have three sig figs don't I so that would be 1.20 times 10 to the third grams of silicon with three significant figures okay all right in example five to end our review um, of the mole concept let's go from grams to moles so now I want to find the number of moles so I have 25.5 grams of silver. Now we're going to put grams of silver on the bottom, moles of silver on top. We'll put a one by mole. And the atomic mass of silver is right over here, 107.87. So now we're going to divide by that since it's on the bottom. Grams divide out. So we have 25.5 divided by 107.87, and we end up with, to three significant figures, 0.236 moles of silver. And the last one for our review, we have 300.0 grams of sulfur. Put grams of sulfur on the bottom, moles of sulfur on top, put one by mole, find sulfur here, well, we've used it already, 32.06 grams will divide out. So 300 divided by 32.06, we end up with the four significant figures, 
9.357 moles of sulfur. Okay, now if you can do those calculations, that's a great review for the mole concept, and those will be the calculations we're going to be doing in this unit. Now, when we come back next time, we're going to talk about percent composition, so I'll be ready for that. See you soon. Bye bye.